Yusuf Musa Kavuma, and I'm the campus director of the Unity University. Unity University was uh, established in uh, 2020, but we really opened up for admissions in 2021, and uh, so far we've made two years. We work in partnership with the PL Olumumba Foundation. PL Olumumba Foundation is working in over 30 countries and basically they deal with uh, so many in so many areas agriculture education but for the case of Somaliland they are dealing with uh, education where we came to transform the education system of this country and uh, our purpose mainly is to offer scholarships to bright but needed students because you know higher education is very expensive so we are here to offer uh, quality but affordable education. So far we have a population of about uh, 1,300 students and uh, about 40% are girls and about 60% are boys. Uh, we started with uh, four faculties uh, but before that we realized that there is a big problem of English language because this is not a, an English speaking country. So we decided to come up with a foundation program because the foundation program is very important for these students to prepare them for their higher education. Uh, in this foundation program, we offer course units like public speaking, academic writing, report writing. We also have communication skills and also life skills. So we study for seven months for that course. Then immediately you join your degree program. And in the degree program so far we've started with four faculties where we have the faculty of business and management. And under that faculty of business, there are several other courses in between there like banking and finance, entrepreneurship, human resource. Then we have the faculty of health science. Faculty of health science or allied health science is there where we have nutrition, we have health service management. And then um, also you have the bachelor of food science and technology, you know. Then we also have uh, the faculty of uh, IT information communication technology, which where we have software engineering, Bachelor of Computer Science, and also Bachelor of uh, ICT. Then last we have the Faculty of Social Science, which is also having several courses in between international relations, uh, public administration, among others. So, so far we are operating under only four faculties, but inshallah we are progressing, we shall add more, because people have been asking us where is engineering, where is law, but we are moving slowly. I uh, want you to give you the best, but we shall reach there, we shall establish other faculties like engineering, law, medicine, all are coming because our plan is quite big. Inshallah, our university is young, but uh, it is uh, an old <laughs> university in terms of what it is doing. We have foreign lecturers, our lecturers are coming from the different parts of Africa. We have from Nigeria, we have from Tanzania, we have from Kenya, we have from Uganda. Uh, that diverse culture, and you know, like these other countries in Africa, the education system is a little bit developed, so they are here to, to help. And secondly, uh, people have been asking us, why are you not having Somaliland lecturers? So my lecturers are coming because these students we are training, want to model them and then we believe that after their bachelors we are going to offer them uh, also scholarships to do masters and then they will be the ones we start with because already they are into the system they know how we do our things they will be the ones to teach these other uh, friends or other Somalis now the other thing is uh, we work in partnership with so many universities in Africa uh, and we shall send most of our students to these universities to go and do their master's program. We choose always the best 10. The best students in every faculty will have an opportunity to be given scholarships either within here or outside Somaliland with our partner universities to try to pursue higher education and believe when they come back, they are the ones who are going to transform this uh, country. Our university's way of doing things is a little bit like I told you, the diverse lecturers that we have and also our foundation program which is very key for this university to prepare these students for higher education because you know there's still a problem of language so we believe these seven months we prepare them on how to do report writing we do you know a lot of other things confidence and building all that so that is our key 
area that we focus on before they actually start their degree. So our, for you to qualify to join the Unity University, first of all, we actually start with the foundation program like we said, but uh, every student who joins our bachelors, you have to start with foundation because we believe that is the best way to go. And you must have uh, a secondary school certificate from the you produce your secondary school certificate from the National Examinations Body, Somala National Examinations Body, that's the qualification, and at least you must have a C grade because uh, National Council for Education, that is the key, they say at least from A, B, C, okay, to qualify to join UNIT University. That is the key thing, so we have that. So if you produce that, then we admit you, we shall take you through a small entry exam to try to see your English competency because we are going to, we have students who are good in English, we have the beginner, intermediate and advanced. So we shall have a class, we know this one is a beginner, this one is advanced, this one is intermediate, so we categorize them in that thing. So that is actually what we, we, we have plans to open up other branches in uh, many different parts of the city, but like we promised our people, we want to offer you quality, we shall not um, bite more than we can chew. We are moving slowly, slowly, but we have a bigger plan to open up even regional centers like in Ergavo, you know, we go to Sanaga and other areas, but so far we are still here in Jigir, opposite Masjid Jabir is where we are still operating, but uh, as we move, as we grow, because we are only two years old, we shall have those branches to try to ease and also try to have maybe online for those who are very far, all those are in our plans, but uh, we are still taking it slow, because we want to offer you quality affordable education, because we say that what begins here transforms Africa. Thank you so much. Now, the, the activity which is going on here, as you can see, um, our students are preparing a talk show. And the purpose of this talk show uh, is meant to enable them to do some practice in using English because they can be able to interact and they can be able to share ideas. So we organize such activities to enable our students to be able to participate and build their confidence and boost their self-esteem in using the English language. That is what is going on as we speak right now. Thank you very much. Specifically, introduction to microeconomics. And this is what you are seeing here is an assessment. In our system of work, we give assessment tests and we give two assessment tests. So this is the first assessment and very soon they will be doing another assessment test for, and that is our style of work. We keep assessing them and also encouraging them to read by giving constant tests. So what they are doing now is the first assessment test of economics and uh, later on shortly in the future there they will be doing a second assessment test. Before that, I mean after that they will be doing their final exam. My name is Yusuf Musa Kavuma and I'm the campus director of the Unity University. Unity University was uh, established in Bidaya uh... Salamu Manallah Abaswa Lakum Minni Ana Amidu Jama. Wa Waduhuna and Utla Hadrat Shab Jamurit Somali and Del Karim wa Jamia Mushahidin al Kram Wa Tlerum Ala Nabzat in Basita and Hazi Jama Fajamia Unity. تم تأسيسها بجمهورة الصوماليلاند منذ ثلاثة أعوام فقط لخدمة العملية التعليمية بالصوماليلاند وللمشاركة في النهضة التعليمية التي تسعى وتأمل بها جمهورة الصوماليلاند للاستفادة من كوادر أبنائها المتعلمين لبناء الوطن الذي مزقته الحروب فجميع دول العالم يولون اهتماما كبيرا بمواردهم البشرية لأنهم هم أملها ومستقبلها الباهر فجامعة نايتي بها العديد من الكليات المختلفة لعلوم الكمبيوتر والهندسة والطب والزراعة كما يعمل بمجال التدريس بها نخبة من الخبراء والأطباء الأجانب البارعون بمجال التدريس الجامعي كما أود هنا أن أشير إلى أن الدراسة بجامعتنا هي باللغة الإنجليزية كما أود أيضا أن أنوه إلى أن الجامعة بها فروع عديدة بعدد كبير من البلدان الأفريقية والعربية وجميع هذه الفروع تندرج تحت مظلة تعليمية كينية كبيرة
وأود هنا أن أتطرق إلى أن جامعة يونايتي اجتهدت على مدار الأعوام الثلاثة الماضية وهي عمرها بجمهورية الصوماليلاند لتصبح جامعة مرموقة بين الكم الهائل الكبير للجامعات المختلفة بالصوماليلاند وأصبحت جامعة يونايتي بها يوثق كافة المواطنين لما لها وبها من علم كما أن المقرر الأول لحفل تخريج الدفعة الأولى بها سوف يكون بعد عام من الآن كما أرغب هنا أيضا منتهزا هذه الفرصة عبر قناة التلفزيون الصومالي لاند الفضائية وأشير إلى أن قبول الطلاب الجدد الراغبون في الانضمام إلى الجامعة هي فقط أن يكون عازما على التفوق والنجاح والتميز ويكون على علم باللغة الإنجليزية ليكون قادرا على مواكبة الدراسة والتي هي باللغة الإنجليزية وعليها أيضا أي على كل طالب وطالبة إحضار صورة من شهادة نجاح المرحلة الثانوية هذا وبالتوفيق لكافة طلابنا وطالباتنا الجادون الراغبون في النجاح ونتعهد لجميع شعب جمهورة الصوماليلاند ببذل كل الجهد والعمل الصبور لتخريج دفعات طلابية جديدة قادرة على خدمة أنفسهم ووطنهم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أنا قوم مقعي بيهي فيصل محمد إبراهيم أحنا إن مضحى مضحى أرميشن كجامعة ديونة يونيفرسيتي يعني هل كان واحد كوسي أنت أنا حق عزيز الطالب عزيزات الطالبة تحية أقدمها لكم مني أنا خالصة طيبة ونيابة عن مجلس إدارة جامعة يونايتي يونيفرسي وأعطيتكم علما بأن جامعة يونايتي قد تمكنت من تحقيق نجاحها ونجاحا فريدا بالمجال التعليمي بالجامعة بالرغم من الفترة القصيرة التي تأسست فيها وذلك راجع إلى قدراتها التعليمية العصرية والمواكبة الأحدث الطرق المتقدمة في مجال التعليم الجامعي كما أن جامعتنا بها عدد كبير من الكليات المتنوعة والعصرية ويعمل بها نخبة من المدرسين الأكفاء الأجانب على مدار الساعات والمحاضرات التعليمية وذلك لخدمة طلابنا من الجنسين بنين وبنات كما أشير هنا إلى أن نسبة الطالبات بجامعتنا قد تعدت الأربعون بالمئة ونسبة الطلابنا من البنين بالجامعة قد تعدت ستون بالمئة كما توفر جامعتنا الفرصة كاملة إلى الفتيات للالتحاق بالجامعة ومساعدتها على تحقيق ذاتها لتصبح عنصر فعالا ومنتجا بالمجتمع ومربية فاضلة لأبنائها هذا كما تعمل جامعة يونايتي يونيفرس بالعاصمة هرجيسة على مساعدة الطلبة والطالبات عقب تخرجهم من الجامعة باستكمال دراستهم العليا والحصول على الدكتوراه والماجستير بكبرى جامعات دولة كينيا أبناؤنا وبناتنا طلاب وطالبات طالبات جامعتنا أقول لكم باختصار أنتم في أيد أمينة كما هو مستقبلكم أيضا 